welcome to this youtube channel if you've not subscribed i want you to do so right now in this very video we're going to be it's going to be a countdown we're going to be looking at top seven topics top priority topics you must read and study hardly if you want to pass any biology exam there's going to be seven of them i'm going to be having a countdown so sit back and let's get started so what do we have at number seven at number seven we have homeostasis <clears throat> that is regulation of total internal environment homeostasis it's going to show up on the screen yeah it's on the screen right now um so in in homeostasis what are you looking out for you look out for what homeostasis is um you look out for organs of um, homeostasis like the skin the liver the kidney you know and you also look at another component which is hormone so under this particular place, you look at hormones, hormones in plants, hormones in animals, you know, hormones in plants, you look at, look at the auxin, the gibberellins, you look at the ET in animals, you look at the endocrine system as well, um, get to know all the hormones that function, you know, get to know all the different parts of the <coughs> glands in the endocrine system, you know, look at the pituitary gland, where they are located, all the glands where they are located, and the hormones that they secrete and also the functions what does these hormones do so you're going to be seeing a lot of hormones like the oxytocin um luteinizing hormone um estrogen testosterone you know these are these are these are some of the things you 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 look out for and and, and also you get to look at the, the 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 liver the functions of the liver the structure of the liver and then the diseases of the liver and then the same for kidney the, the structure of kidney the functions of the kidney look at the kidney very well properly look at the basic unit of the kidney which is the nephron and look at the diagram very well and know what happens at each stage at the loop of Henle you know all those stages in the nephron you get to know what um, they, they are so um, that is it um, let's go to the next point so number six what do we have at number six? What do we have? We have genetics slash evolution. So you're going to read these two topics together. I'm actually combining them because um, they are almost fall inside the same category. So under genetics, you're going to be looking at um, you know Mendel's law. What is genetics? Um, we're going to be looking at uh, looking that deep down into um, the the things like uh, the chromosomes, alleles. What are alleles? Um, what does it mean to say that something is on homologous, you know, um, and, and stuff like that? So look at the terms in genetics. Read all of them. Um, things like, um, you know, uh, physiology. Um, look at Mendel's first and second law. Uh, look at genotype, phenotype, and stuff like that. But these are the terms um, that are there. Look at uh, the locus and stuff, other stuff like that. And, and, and then you get to look at matching, you know, chromosome pairing. Um, you know when you, you're going to see it right there when they talk about first filial generation what are the offsprings that, that will be gotten in the second filial generation and then when we come to evolution you are supposed to also look at other things like um, uh, look at Darwin's law but before you look at Darwin's law of um, um, natural selection and the rest you first of all look at Jean Lamarck what, what his contribution to evolution is and um, under Jean Lamarck I think he has two laws um, or, or the first uh, uh, has to do with um, use and disuse of body parts and um, then we have what we call the second one that he termed the inheritance of acquired traits so you get to look at um, these things before you delve into Charles Darwin's uh, uh, theory of um, natural selection and look at it uh, properly and then you look at um, uh, 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 evidence of evolution you can see a lot of them depending on the textbook you're using Evidence of evolution, you know, the, the, the heart, vestigial parts, and, and, and the rest of them. So um, that is it for number six. What do we have at number five? At number five, we have reproduction. So this reproduction, you're going to study reproduction in plants. And when you get to reproduction in plants, you also look at flowering plants. You know, you can enter into fruits, types of fruits parts of a plant, the reproductive parts of a plant, study them and where they are located, you know, biology is basically diagram. So know the diagram, in case if it's been labeled in exam, you can locate, you can actually name them, 
or you're giving a name to, to, to identify the location, you can get that. And then reproduction in plants, you look at the different types of reproduction, sexual, asexual, you know, get to look at vegetative propagation, get to look at conjugation, and know the organisms. Know each organism, uh, for, for each type of reproduction, know the organism that undergoes that kind of reproduction, and know the structure of the organism. Um, you also get to look at reproduction in humans, uh, uh, so you get to look at male and female, know their structure, know where the urethra is, the uterus is, the epididymis, know the functions of um, male reproductive organs and also the functions of female reproductive organs. So we'll move to the next one. So number four is ecology. Ecology. So you get to look at the terms in ecology. You get to look at what is ecology, ecosystem, um, get to look at um, pyramid of numbers, pyramid of energy, food chain, food web, know the difference between food chain and food web, study the illustrations very well to know why this is a primary producer, secondary, you know, a consumer, tertiary producer, a tertiary consumer, get to study that trend to um, um, understand and you also get to look at other things like niche, what is the niche, what is population, uh, what is a community, get to know the difference between population and a community. Most people do not, most students I've seen do not actually understand. Um, when we talk about population in biology, it's different from the population you get like um, the normal counting, census counting we have out there. The term in biology differs and you must get the definition right for you to get your full score um, in your examination. And number three, and number three, we we have tissues and um, supporting systems. So the same way we did for reproduction, in tissues and supporting systems, you also got to look at plants and in animals. So we look at um, in plants, you look at the supporting tissues in plants, you know, the parenchyma, the sclerenchyma, you know, and then get to study them properly to understand what they really are. Um, there are specific things about each of these supporting tissues. And then you get to look at animals as well. For animals, you get to look at the skeleton, the, the concept of exo and endoskeleton, uh, hydrostatic skeleton. Look at the organisms that undergo these very things. Uh, you also get to um, look at types of joints, uh, get to look at uh, skeletal materials, cartilage, and stuff like that. And um, it, you, you should be able to delve into uh, uh, the, the structures like um, the cervical, the types of different types of vertebra and their locations. Um, cervical vertebra, lumbar vertebra, and uh, all those stuffs like that. Get to know their diagram as well. Their diagrams are very important, and you, you have to be able to label the diagrams. You know their position in the body, the, how they look, and the features they have. You know, get to compare and contrast between all of them. When you get to the cervical vertebra, you know, look at the things like the axis, axial movements of the neck, and the rest of them. So, um, this is it for this topic. So, so at number two, what do we have at number two? At number two, we have organization of life. Um, this is where you get to look at cell, cell and its environment. Um, cell function, um, you get to look at things like um, uh, you know, cell structure as well. So here you, go, you have to be able to differentiate between animal and plant cell and um, for, for, for each of those cells you have to look at their diagram, know their diagram very well. Remember I said biology is all about diagrams so you also have to look at the parts of this cell, um, know them by name, know their function, know their location also know their nickname for instance mitochondria is also known as the powerhouse of the cell the nucleus is also known as the control center you know know the, those various things the chloroplast and know stack the difference for instance there is no chloroplast in animal cell but there is chloroplast in plant cell why because um, plant cells undergo photosynthesis um, um, other things you have to also look out for a cell and its environment look at things like osmosis diffusion transport within a cell um, Get to look at um, what causes flaccidity, you know, and rigidity of the cell. You know, those movements, movements of cell, exosmosis, endosmosis. Um, 
you also get to look at cellular respiration. Yeah, yeah. Most of us don't understand that respiration is a cell thing. You know, respiration goes beyond breathing in um, CO2, uh, O2 and breathing out carbon dioxide. No, no, the cell does bulk of the function. Um, you get to look at glyc gly glycolysis, the stages, you get to look at TCA cycle or what you call Krebs cycle, you know, um, you get to look at these things um, before the production of energy. So these are the things, various things, just um, absorb the entire content of um, organization of life. And also get to look at um, cell, you know, the different um, stages. Um, we have cell from cell to, to tissue from um, tissue to organs, from organs to systems, you know. Um, get to look at these specializations, you know, from cell to uh, tissue to organ to systems. Get to understand this very well, read it up um, properly. Um, and then uh, get to look at cell as a filament, cell as a colony. Um, get to know the examples, for instance, um, the spirogyra, know the diagram of the spirogyra and, and, and the rest. The number one we have classification classification of living organisms so this is where you this is where you get to look at uh, the various um, look at binomial nomenclature taxonomy and then you go down to um, living things and non-living things and then you get to look at for um, different classifications the kingdom classification kingdom family um, get to look at hierarchy and get to look at the work of um, Calvin Lane or Carolus Linus, how he was able to give rankings, the species and the genera, the order, the class, the family, the phylum, to the kingdom. Get to understand these concepts. And um, as well, you should be able to look at how many kingdoms do we have, the, you know, the kingdom Animalia, kingdom Monera, kingdom Protista, kingdom Fungi. Get to read everything down and don't do not forget structures structures are very important under um, the kingdom of animalia you, you know it's divided into vertebrates and invertebrates under the invertebrata there are different phylums um, we, we we have the echinodermata the porifera and, and all of them you get to look at the various basis of this classification and when you get to each each phylum get to know the organisms that are there get to know the functions of the organisms and the functions of the parts of the organisms when you also get to the the, the kingdom protista that is where you find your amoeba um paramecium euglena you know get to look at these subclasses get to understand the the, the, the diagrams of paramecium diagram of amoeba get to understand the parts and how to draw them and how to locate the parts if they have been drawn for you to identify and get to know the functions of the parts themselves. So um, you also get to look at things like viviparity, over viviparity, everything in uh, living things. Um, you gulp everything down. So thank you once again for joining me here today. Until we meet next time, Steel Campus Talks.